G'day folks, I'm Mitchell Dale. This is Rugby League Week TV. Joined on the couch by Eric Groth, Martin Lenahan, and boys, we've waited until after the season for the biggest story of the year. Jared Hayne going to NFL, of course. Eric, you know him well. Do you reckon he can do it? Yeah, I reckon he can. He's, he's been gifted with all the attributes for across the board for many sports. The only thing I think, you know, the only time I'll be negative is now when I say that he hasn't grown up with American football in his system. I know he's a big fan of it and he watches a lot of it and he actually did some drills and skills over there with one of the teams and went really well. But just not having that in your DNA, so to speak, compared to rugby league, it's going to be hard for him just to waltz in and to get a starting spot. But, mate, he can do it, like 100%. Like, you know, he's talking about being a punt return. Mate, that's his game. He's just run the ball and broke to broken play and be instinctual. And, and, and also now he's got people blocking for him as well. So, mate, he could, he could just blitz it. It'd be unreal to see him go well. I hope he does. Fortune favours the bold. So. Yeah, I mean, you, you talk about not growing up in the NFL system and that sort of stuff. I think playing as a punt returner would probably be the closest thing to mimic what he does as a fullback in rugby league. I mean, he's catching the ball. He's got time to look up and assess his options rather than turning blind, trying to catch a ball as a wide receiver or something like that? 100%, yeah, like, the, like we were talking about earlier, you know, turning, catching the ball at speed and stopping on a dime, they're all things that you'd have to have practiced for years, I think, to be at the top of the game and straight away. But yeah, punt return, it's like Leslie has to think about it, he could he couldn't end up going a lot better than what he did in footy. With footy, rugby league, he had to think of so much and he conditioned to worry about so many other people because he's in that pivotal role, you know, and he's a leader and he's got to worry about people on the field apart from himself. We seen in 2009 when he had his best year when he was just fullback and he didn't, he wasn't captain and he wasn't worrying about everyone. I think that was when, that was when it was, um, he was at his most dangerous. And this could be that his only focus is now to run that ball back. If that's all he has to worry about, it could be danger for other NFL teams. Do you think he needs to get a little bit bigger or is his current size okay? Well, the thing is, NFL players can have supplements that NRL players aren't allowed to have. You know, when you're playing footy, you're always trying to find out what the new thing is that you're allowed to have and all this stuff. Sometimes that can go pear-shaped, as we've seen. But, mate, he, um, yeah, he'll get bigger and stronger and faster, and the training's different. It's just all explosive for that short burst, big rest after it. So, mate, he could very well do four runs in a game, and that's all he'd have to do for the whole day. Like, so an explosive, fresh Hainsey. That's just disaster. Yeah. And Leno, he left, uh, he left rugby league with a very honest and emotional uh, state with a, a, pretty, uh, a pretty, as I say, emotional press conference. Best press conference of the year. I thought he was fantastic. I love what he said about buying a house for his mum. He was very honest. He said he's been thinking about this for two years, but he didn't think he was, you know, he said he's more of a man now. He feels like he's ready to do it. I think, look, I reckon catching the NFL ball, the gridiron ball, is actually going to be easier to catch the ball than the league ball. He'll have a bit more time, look up, size up his options. Look, he's 26 and there's a heap of guys coming through this college system there who've played this game their whole life. He's under no illusions, I don't think, about how hard this is going to be. But he's at the time of his life to do this, to have a crack. He's got a lifetime deal with Parramatta where if he does come back, he goes straight back to the club. So it'll be really interesting to see how they replace him. I mean, we'd love to see Israel Folau back in rugby league and I reckon that's a massive chance of happening maybe 2016. So a lot to play out for Parramatta. But... He goes with everybody's blessing. He, as you said, great press conference, great emotion there. I reckon have a crack and everybody will be uh, behind him. Look, if there were any guys in our code that could make it in the NFL, I would say there's only two. Jared Haynes one and Greg Inglis is the other. I don't think that there's any of the others. You're not in the code anymore. You've hung the boots up. You would have said me if I was. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You would have been top of the list. But I think they prob they, their motor skills and their size and their speed probably make them the only two that are suited to have a genuine dig at uh, making it in the NFL. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that, mate. I, I, I can't wait. I just want to see this. It's never been done before. Like I know we've had people cross over and become kickers, but to be a running, run, a runner of the football in NFL coming from NRL, that's like the biggest story ever. Yeah. Hopefully he goes really well. And I know he can. He's got all the attributes. Hopefully he does the training, gets the skill set, and, and just has that focus of that one run and blows them apart. How good a story would it be? Yeah, and certainly off the back of the form that we've seen this year, he's going to NFL in superb touch. Uh, as I said, if anyone can make it, I think it's Greg Inglis or Jared Hayne. We all wish him the best. Uh, we'll wait and see for the next 12 months and see how he goes. Rip in, Ainsley.